Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, it's a very humid, sticky day. Yeah, this is for Fred Lee Parker. Let me make sure I got your name right. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fred Lee Parker. Yes. Uh, I was looking at your your 12 gauge. I thought I'd show you this. Um, yes, I do have the hammers. I'm not sure where they are right now. <laughs> um, I don't know the brand, the make, anything. This was my granddaddy's uh, shotgun. So, uh, I wouldn't dare try to fire it, but I mean, right, well, boom. yeah. I know you. There's. It's gonna. It. You can't really see the engraving and stuff, but. Um, I can't, I can't read CG something, but, um, and then somebody soldered, if I can get it so you can see it, I don't know if you can tell, somebody soldered that up, up there and, and there, but, uh, this has like an 1880s date on it somewhere. Think up here somewhere it has an 1880s date. This has been passed down in my family. Um, it went from my, um, I think it was my grandmother's family. No, it wouldn't have been my grandmother's. Anyway, it's gone through like three generations, four or five, including me and my parents, uh, on my mother's side from North Carolina, um, I've never fired it. I wouldn't even dare try to fire it. Like my fiance just said, it'd probably blow up. And this right here is very loose. Uh, the, the, the hand guard there, I've never had it. I don't know what happened to it or when or where or anything like that. It says 9V. I can see that. There all sorts of markings on it. Um, the one thing I would like to do with this is actually clean it up to make it look nice, but I've taken it to a few gun stores and they say, ah, don't even bother. I'm like, it's mine. I want to make it. I don't care if it's going to cost me some money. I know it's going to cost some money. Yeah, you want it to look nice. Yeah, I want it to look nice. I want it to, to be able to display it. I'm not looking to shoot it. just want people to be able to see it and, you know, but, um, I don't think it's black powder. You think it's a little crab ass? Yeah, I could do that, but... You know what he prepared. Yeah, he... Yeah, one, uh, one of the gun shops up here where we live, and New Hampshire, I know I don't sound like I'm a New Englander, but, um, neither of my fiancé or I are from New England, but, um, that's where we live now, but... I'd like to give him a kick in the butt. Yeah, the... The reason, well, we don't go to him anymore, but the reason we were going to him was because he has ammo for the Mosin, and he has ammo for difficult-to-find calibers, but... Living with him, like... Yeah, he's... he's rudely bear. Yeah, but anyway, so this, this has been passed down in my family since the 1880s. Whoops, there we go. And, um, don't think it's black powder, but maybe it is. I mean, I don't know. So I just thought I'd show you that. So I hope you like it. If you can tell me anything about it, I'd appreciate it. By the way, your shotgun looks beautiful. I mean, that, that is a beautiful looking shotgun. Especially, you know, to be of a similar age as this one. And it's still, you can still shoot it. That's pretty amazing. 